Metal Save! Alright, welcome back to another episode of Metal Gear Solid 5 here on your favorite Let's Play channel. D -d 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 Double Save! Just finished episode 1, Phantom Limbs. About to get into the meat and potatoes of this game. Let's do it. Do all the rewards. All right. We're headed for the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. So this Making is another game future. I was telling you about. And they took it away. I forget what it's called. It's called like Peace Walker, I think. It was originally on PSP, but then they like remade it, remastered it for uh, consoles. I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. That we can call home. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of cipher sight. Picking up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond Docks. Our new home. So that's the name of our army. The of our former selves. Alright. Triumph. Death. It's a very cute patch. For something so serious. We weren't about either. I think, like most military patches, they just have very basic designs like that. True. But theirs has a very good boy. <laughs> yeah, and then you can, like, make your own logo, your own version of the logo, which I like to do. Cool, we can make it, like, super edgy. Oh, yeah. We're the Diamond Dogs, yeah. And so it's basically, like, different gameplay things, like, different things you do in gameplay unlock different, like, l words or things, uh, or, like, logos. Your emblem. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, flashbacks? Yeah. So this is when the original base for their their military was getting destroyed. Okay. So is this uh is this us like gaining our memories back a bit? I think so. Yeah. Because it's like now that we're reunited with Miller, I think we're like starting to remember what happened Aww. before we went into a coma. Like a damn fiddle! Help me, Snake. Chico. It all ends soon. Exactly as I've planned. No! Let's pause. Pause used to be a, I think like a lieutenant or something in the army. She was like an officer, I think. It's like Look part of the cool. leadership. Oh. Our regards to your boss when you get home. That's the bad guy. Alright then, that was a lot. <laughs> Still not as much as the fucking flaming sky whale. <laughs> that turned into a, turned into a flaming peg unicorn pegasus. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure Snake. how this game is going to top that. <laughs> Oh, I straight up thought he was missing, like, limbs on the same side of his body. Oh, no. won't stop hurting. It's like they're all still there. You feel it, don't you? I'm the one who got caught up with Cypher. A group above nations. Even the U.S. We had Cypher as, like, a I was the secret organization. Below, beating off Zero's power. Now kiss. Huh. <laughs> Him up, and I was like, okay, yeah, just leave the guy with one leg standing there. <laughs> he falls out the window of the <laughs> helicopter. I have to go rescue him out of the ocean.
Like he was about to fall out. <laughs> just completely misjudges where he's gonna sit. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, the base is so tiny compared to like how big he can make it. Does he like develop different platforms for it and it gets like huge? Nifty. What should I do? And you can change the color of it. Us. Tell me. Tell me like you used to. Created and directed by Hideo Kojima. That's that's my dude. That's my dog right there. We did a diamond dog. All right, episode two, baby. They ever give him an arm though. This guy needs a fucking vacation. He is work. so just stressed out and pissed off. No and none of them good. get vacations. Oh. They're soldiers. Cause. Someone Cypher please send him to a spa day or something. I was gonna say Snake got a nine-year vacation and he wasn't even awake for it. <laughs> as soon as he woke up, it's like, no, back to work. You slept long enough, buddy. Get that man a crutch. Woof. God damn. And you know, like, all these guys got PTSD like motherfuckers. Yeah, absolutely. That ends today. I don't even want to know what the conditions were that he got his limbs taken off. I mean, yeah, he was, he was a prisoner, so probably not the best circumstances. Yeah, give him the good drugs. Yeah. Help him go night night. We're diamond dogs. Now drunk the fuck out of me. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to think anymore. <laughs> Sorry, every time they get close, that's all I can think about. <laughs> I missed you so much. It's been the nine years too long, boss. Let me feel those lips again. I ship it now. He's, <laughs> he's like, well, boss, I guess this means I'm a bottom now. Because <laughs> I don't really have limbs to be a top. Okay, and now we're here on the base. Right, today's mission, learn how to run Mother Base. You walk so slow, Aura. Well, I mean, maybe it's time for him to, like, dose up again. I can only imagine his body is just in agony constantly. Make diamond dogs the force it deserves to Like any organization... He still has all that shrapnel in his chest. Oh, yeah. Miller asked me to lay that oh, yeah, that was just his x-ray of his chest. It's probably got more all over his body. Yeah, this guy's on painkillers for life. Yeah. Start bringing people in. Use this. God, so, I can't imagine that horn feels very good to have device. either. Try sleeping on your fucking face. When you're in the field, use it to extract... So yeah, he gave me this, like, parachute thing. So that's, like, how you build your army. You, like, find soldiers out in the world, and then you parachute them back to your base. Interesting. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. So you gotta knock them out. And then... Attach the parachute. Wait, so you just... You can just, like, kidnap people to be a part of your... Yep. <laughs> That's so <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> oh my god, can you imagine doing that with friends who live thousands of miles away from you? <laughs> Guess what? You're hanging out with me today. Well, bam! <laughs> <laughs> I should just fly up. Whoops, that's not the idea. There we go. 
Select staff management from the mother. So that staff member was placed on the R and D. Brass team. armadillo. The R &D that's team his is code in name. Of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please. Specify that's the R and D project. team's development list. See the item called cardboard box. Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last word in infiltration technology, or so he said. Because in every in case, Metal Gear game, cardboard boxes. We need more staff on oh, the Oh, that reference I understand. Go extract a few more people. I've seen that one. Boss, put the eye droid away. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Oh. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? Show them how it's Thank done. You. You're welcome. Try to the best way to knock someone out is excellent. That's great. These guys are like, that's cool. Yeah, no, like this guy's been asleep for nine years, shows back up out of nowhere, just starts knocking people out and attaching parachutes to us. Hey, you know, Ocelot told me to do it. That was just close. Fuck that guy in particular. You can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. If you want to be sure you can get them out, best carry them to the chopper instead. All right, extract the next step, but awesome. Extract it. He was just saying hi to you. Your poor crew. Okay. Just show up and start beating up motherfuckers. Well, this is my whole army. Everyone's got a concussion. Why? I'm waking him back up. <laughs> you wake them up by giving them extra concussion. Yeah. Look, they're on the research and development team. They're not on the intel team, okay? Okay, so fuck those <laughs> nerds, I guess. <laughs> I'm not worried about their, their intellect. All right, on to the next mission. Yay! We showed up literally just to hit people. Hit people and attach parachutes to them. Yup. And then we have this epic helicopter music for that mission. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I don't remember what the starting missions are, so let's see what our next our next shenanigans we get into is. Development project has been Ooh. added. A bunch of new development projects. Now I can make C4, I can make hella shit. But I gotta get, I gotta make enough money to make all that shit. So when do you fight the uh, weird miss guys again? Um, I don't know, pretty soon though, I mean. And um, the fucking on fire guy and the straight jacket guy? Uh, the same, yeah, they, they you fight him again, yeah. You definitely come into contact with those people again. Well, I mean, I couldn't imagine they'd show up and you wouldn't. I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list That opening sequence is just too much. I've taken a job off first time. So I've got three missions. I, I kind of like just going through it in a row, you know what I mean? Like three, four, five. That's fair. I don't really care what Miller is saying. He's too edgy for me. I like his theatrics, though. He might have lost an arm and a leg, but he hasn't lost the drama. Yeah, I don't have anything. So I gotta remember to be good with the, uh... Be careful about the... I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at night time. But I gotta be careful about the suppressor on the assault rifle. Don't want to use it up too quickly. Does it just, like, break? or what's it, depletes, up with it? it depletes the more you use it. Ah. So you'll see when I start using it, there's like, in the little weapons window in the corner, there's like a bar that represents like how how long how much longer I can use the suppressor before it breaks. Episode three, a hero's way. Couldn't be a more generic title. Starring punished Venom Snake. What is that name about? <laughs> I don't know. All the snakes have different names. Or like their names change depending on the missions. Is it a different clone each game? No. 
It's complicated. So, so this is Big Boss, which is the same main character from 3 and Peace Walker. Mm -hmm. So he's like the original. And then Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid 2, Metal Gear Solid, f and, and Metal Gear Solid 4 are all uh, Solid Snake which is one of, I think, like, multiple clones of the original Snake, okay. who is known as Big Boss. Okay. And so Big Boss, Metal Gear was the first one where you play a Solid Snake. That was on, like, the original Nintendo. Mm -hmm. And uh, in that one, Big Boss is, in the first few games, Big Boss is, like, the villain. Oh. Uh, so this game, you were supposed to find out how Big Boss becomes the villain, but since Kojima never got to finish it, you don't find out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, but it's still a fun game. And it, it's still an interesting storyline. It just kind of, unfortunately, peters out towards the end. But what can you do? I love character arcs like that, where you get to see like how the villain becomes the villain. But I also like the opposite, where you see how the villain kind of like redeems himself into being a hero. I think it still kind of works given like the history of the series like it's kind of like the villains are very complicated and you find out like the villain used to be a hero for you know X reason or Y reason. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but yeah. But like I said Metal Gear games always have really interesting villains. Yeah so far. Uh, so I'm already here. Okay. It's like a big old cornfield or something. Don't forget, he has a Spence-nose recon detail with him. Keep your guard up. Okay, so there's usually guards on these things. Doesn't look like there's anybody over there. Oh! There's somebody. Uh... Somebody in a car. Dang. Wasn't able to get that person. Whoop, what happened? I think I moved. Um. Oh, here we go. No, what the heck? There we go. I feel like that's okay for now. So I think I want to get this guy in the tower before he spots me. Oh shit, there's a tower right here too. Oh shit, okay. I probably want to get that person first. Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to shoot him. I think I'm going to try to like strangle him or something. Just to save my suppressor. So you see the little suppressor bar now? Yes. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, we gotta get these resources. Wait, where is he? Okay, he's right there. Can only notice if I. Okay. And. Oh, wait, let me interrogate him. Spit it out. Or where are the rest? He speaks Russian. Oh, he speaks Russian. I don't know Russian. Alright, you're dead. Okay guys, that's it for this episode of Metal Gear Solid 5 here on Double Save. Until next time, you beautiful motherfuckers.